So I have somebody who started learning to code at 40. Let me just read his email. Started learning to code at age 40. No bachelor's degree. What paths are open to me versus dead ends in software development? Many paths. I don't know what your background is. As I've mentioned in other videos, employers are now valuing experience much more so than degrees. Uh, greater than 50%. And this is just going to, to increase for sure. I don't know what your background is. Because you can marry coding skills with your previous career that works so for example when I sold out of my first business which was uh, manufacturing dry goods products I used to ship in rare fish from all over the world I had a bunch of different things that we did in that company and when I went into software I was able to sell systems software systems that automated processes for people who had similar businesses to mine in the sense that they were bringing in product and distributing product. Because of my experience doing this in my previous business, I knew the need that I could fill, that gap I could fill with software. I made some good money doing that. So in terms of getting into development, software development, maybe you can leverage some industry knowledge that you have, I call it domain knowledge in other videos, and you can parlay that into some sort of coding career where you fill some gaps, oh, I, you know, I don't know what you did, I don't know if you were a trucker, maybe say, you know, in this industry, we could have used software that did X, Y, and Z. So maybe you can produce that software that does that, that solves that problem. The thinking about technology is usually reversed, is reversed by a lot of people. What do I mean by that? People will find a technology and go, hmm, this is a great technology. How can I leverage that technology? That's not the question you should ask. The question should be, this is a pain point in this business process, or this is something that would be cool that if a piece of software fixed this. Now, understanding the problem, what technologies, what software, languages, frameworks, libraries, which one of these technologies, what technologies can I leverage to solve this problem? So having domain knowledge, having intimate knowledge of a particular industry or domain will allow you to see problems that you could solve with software. That's how you think about these things. Hope this helps. Bye-bye.